What is going on, mobile gamers? Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your parallel Easy Flash R4 card in 2024 so that you can cheat, you can play emulation, and set up Twilight Menu all in one go. So let's level up our parallel knowledge even more in 2024. All right, mobile gamers. So the very first thing you're going to need to set this up is a micro SD card. I'm going to be using a 128 gigabyte micro SD card for the sake of this video, just to show you how to format a larger card than 32 gigabytes, which yes, despite what their website says about supporting four gigabyte to 32 gigabytes, you can actually go up to, as my testing shows, 256 gigabytes minimum. I haven't tested anything further because I don't see a point in it. I don't really see a point in anything above 64 gigabytes to let you know that. Now, I'm going to show you how to format this card so that it'll be FAT32 and it'll work on the Easy Flash parallel. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get some sort of adapter dongle like this. This dongle will allow you to plug in a card like this, your micro SD card, a little USB adapter, usually what comes with the actual are four cards normally. So yes, it'll allow you to actually use any of your SD cards with any method possible. I'm gonna use the one that came with the adapter and just plug it right in. Now it does allow you to plug it into a USB-C adapter. If you don't have a USB-C adapter, there are ones that allow you to plug it into regular uh, USB-A adapters. Now I'm gonna plug this into my computer and we're going to open up a program that I've supplied for you guys in the description below called AOMEI Partition Assistant. As you can see, by default, we can't actually right-click this, go to Format, and format it to FAT32 like we have to for this card to work. So AOMEI Partition Assistant is a program that I've supplied you guys with. There is a how to install readme file or a text document inside the zip file for this program to actually install it for free. I highly recommend you to follow that. Otherwise, if you say this program needs a key, then you obviously didn't make it within the first two minutes of this video to find out that you need to follow that how to install readme text. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to wherever your micro SD card is. Mine is this disk four. I'm gonna right click on it, make sure that it's highlighted in green and click format partition. I'm gonna name my partition label easy flash, just like so. And I'm going to click the drop down menu, go FAT32 and drop down menu again for cluster size to 64 kilobytes and click OK. I'm going to click apply on the top left hand corner and I'm going to click proceed, click yes and let it format the SD card. Well, that's formatting. We're going to navigate to the Easy Flash website as you see here. All I did was just typed in Easy Flash in Google and I navigated to the home. Now I'm going to navigate to download. I'm gonna navigate down to where it says Easy Flash Parallel and click on that. And I'm gonna download the latest kernel. As of today, it is 1.04. So click on the download and let it download to your download directory. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download another file that I've supplied you guys with, which is about 63 megabytes, called the DMG Clan Easy Flash Twilight Menu. This is a pre-configured Twilight Menu so that it'll work with Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, NES, and Sega Genesis emulation, which are homebrew applications designed by the community. After you've downloaded these two files, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to extract the Easy Flash P kernel. So right click on it and click Extract All. Now a little dialog window is going to pop up. You're gonna click Extract. Wait for that to do its thing. And now you're gonna have these two files in here. You're gonna grab these two files and you're gonna copy them into the root of your Easy Flash formatted SD card and then you're gonna paste them right here. So click the paste icon and wait for it to actually paste all those files, which is only two files and a few folders inside of the EasyDS folder. We're gonna navigate inside that underscore EasyDS folder. You're gonna navigate into this cheats folder and we're going to get the new cheat file that is updated as of today. The first thing you're gonna do is navigate to the website linked below. It is a GBA temp thread or GBA.net thread for Dead Skull's latest cheat database. You're gonna scroll all the way down on this website until you see spoiler download. You're gonna click on that and it's going to give you the option for a mega download option. So you're gonna click on that mega.nz and it's gonna bring you to mega drive. 
Now you're going to navigate over to this folder right here that says cheat database, double click on it. And you're going to click on the user cheat dot You're going to click on the three dots all the way at the right hand side, and you're going to click download. Now, just let it download and do its thing. As you can see at the bottom left hand side, it's downloading the user cheat dot file. Now you're going to navigate back into that folder where your downloads are. You're going to right click on that user cheat dot file, click copy. Now you're going to navigate back to your cheats folder for your easy flash and you're going to paste that in there. You're going to click on replace the file in destination, which is going to overwrite that old cheat file. Now that old cheat file has some good cheats, but it doesn't have every cheat available out there as of right now. This one has updated cheats, and I think the last time they updated it was maybe a month or two ago. I don't know, it's been a while. So 1225 was the last time, so Christmas, so three months ago, which is great. Now we don't need anything else within Google Chrome. All we need to do is set up everything else for our easy flash on our root of our SD card. So now that you've gone and downloaded my custom made twilight menu, you're gonna right click on it, click extract all. Now a little dialogue window is gonna open up again, click extract, and then you're gonna grab all of these folders and files in here. Right click on it, click the copy icon, navigate back to the root of your twilight or your easy flash SD card, and paste it where these two files and folders are located. So click paste and wait for it to do its thing. Now that those files and folders are copied, you're going to navigate into the ROMs folder. This ROMs folder has the locations for your actual ROMs. Now go into the NDS folder and delete this saves folder. This does not work for us as of this time. So delete that and click yes. You're going to just place your NDS games and saves in this directory right here. Now, once you've done all that, which is saving all of these games, we will unplug this from our computer and plug it directly into our DS, our DS Lite, our DSi XL, our DSi, our 2DS, our new 2DS XL, our 3DS, our new 3DS XL, our new 3DS, any of those consoles. Yes, they all work. Don't even think about asking if they work for that device because yes, they work for everything. I have one of almost every console and I've tested it on all of these consoles. You're also gonna subscribe to the channel. The reason for that is because I put a lot of work and effort into this kind of stuff for you guys to be able to game. And that's why I do this is so that you guys can just game as quick and easy as possible. Even if the video is a 15 to 20 minute video, that is only 15 to 20 minutes out of your time. For a video that probably took me two hours to make that being said subscribe like share comment and ask questions because i try to answer everybody's questions if they're not already answered in the video let's jump to that spot now of the video where we actually plug this in to our device as i've copied all of my games already into these folders now that i've copied all of my games as you can see here and my game saves I'm ready to take this out of my dongle and plug it into my Easy Flash R4 card, parallel card. <laughs> so let's plug that in there, put it into our DSi XL. The reason why I'm using a DSi XL is just because the screen looks good and it's able to be read and seen easily on the video. So let's load up our game. Let's load up our Easy Flash parallel by pressing start on this game icon right here. Now you're just going to be presented with the original R4 or Easy Flash parallel menu as you can see here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go click on the start icon. We're going to go down to settings and you're going to press A. You're going to navigate over twice until you see file system settings. You're going to go down to save extension and change that to .sav. The reason for this is because you can transfer these save files to emulators and stuff or other cards down the road. The next thing you're gonna do is go over one more time and you're going to click on the option that says reset in game and press over. You're gonna go down to the one that says reset in homebrew and press over to turn it to off. The reason for this is because we need to be able to navigate into twilight menu so that we can play emulation. The reason for this is so that we can navigate in and out of games, which I have a timestamp for that section of this video as well. So make sure that you click A to actually save these settings, click A again, and then we're gonna navigate to our games. Our games are gonna be located in the ROMs directory in our NDS folder, and we can just select a game from here. Now, this is just very easy, very straightforward. Just click A on the game, and you'll jump into the game right away. How to activate cheats? Well, I'm gonna show you. 
First, we're going to navigate to the game that we want to activate the cheat for. We're going to press Y. We're going to click on cheats, which is the X icon. And some cheats do require you to turn on certain prerequisites prerequisites to actually be able to use the cheats. So like this one says must be on. We're going to press A on that. And I'm going to go down to game enhancer codes. I'm going to check this one off as well, which is skipping the intro for the very first time when you play your game. Next, I'm going to go to unlock all codes and I'm going to go to unlock all worlds. Now, as you can see on the bottom, there's an option for more. You're going to press Y. This is going to tell you how to activate that cheat while you're in the game. So as you can see, this one says that we need to press start and select to activate the cheat so that it'll allow you to unlock every world. So press A, press A again so you can check it off, make sure it's checked, and then press the X icon when you're done. I'm going to activate another one. So play as modifier. Um, let's see if we can change a different one. So this one, Mega Mario or Luigi, press Y plus up to enable the cheat, press Y down to disable this cheat. I think this one's kind of funny, so I'm going to put it on there. So let's press X to activate it, press A, and then we're going to navigate inside the game. And as you can see, it skipped that intro. Now let's wait for that to finish, and let's press Start and Select. Now we press Start and Select, and all of the worlds have been loaded. Let's press Y and up, I think, or was it Y, Select, and up? Maybe that's when we're actually in the world. Let's try this. Let's see. There we go. So Y and up. Now we have Giant Mario. And then we can change this at any time as according to the cheat, we can go down to mini Mario again. And then we can go back to giant Mario and then mini Mario and then giant Mario. And we can just keep doing this over and over again if we want to. And yeah, this is how you activate cheats and kind of have a blast with messing around with the cheat option for using your easy flash parallel. Now I'm going to make it to the end of this world just for the sake of this. And I'm going to, Continue being Big Mario again. I might as well get my free power-ups and knock over this, and there we go. Now, we're going to turn back into normal Mario again and go to the next world. So to navigate inside of games and out of games, we're going to go down to the start icon. We're going to go down to settings. We're going to go all the way over by pressing the R button on our actual device, and you're going to make sure that reset in game is turned on. So as long as that's turned on, we'll be able to use an option for our Easy Flash Parallel to go in and out of games very easily. So what I mean by that is if I go into Pokemon Heart Gold, for example, and say I'm like, oh, I don't want to play this anymore. All I have to do is press L, R, down, A, and B. This will leave the game, and then I'll be able to go back to the Easy Flash Parallel menu and start playing new Super Mario Bros. if I want to. It's very easy, pretty straightforward on how to use that. Just make sure that that feature is turned on for navigating in and out of regular DS games on your Easy Flash Parallel. Now to play emulation on this card, we have to dual boot, which is basically just loading up Twilight Menu manually into Twilight Menu. So we're gonna go to our micro SD card, go down to the boot.nds and press A. We're gonna be presented with a setup menu. So we're gonna select our language, press A. We're gonna go down to select your region, press USA. And then we're gonna be presented with Twilight Menu on our Easy Flash Parallel. And there we go. So now we have these folders and this game file, which is the homebrew. And all we have to do is navigate into the ROMs folder, for example, and navigate to the game that we want to play. So if I wanted to play Super Nintendo, I can navigate here, select on the game, and it'll bring me to the emulator that is already pre-installed in Twilight Menu. You still have to select games inside of um, Super Nintendo, for example, so that you can actually start playing them but they do load and you are able to play them. Now, not all games will play. I'm going to let you know that right away. And not all games look the greatest. They don't always look great on this little screen and stuff. But Super Mario World is one of those games that you can mess around with, like the screen layout options and change the screen layout options by changing it to like full screen, no scaling. Just mess around with these settings until it kind of looks good to you and just start playing it as you normally would on a Super Nintendo. Yes, this game works well, but again, not all Super Nintendo games are going to work as great as you'd want them to. Which brings me to my next thing. To actually get out of this emulator and play different games, you can go to either select ROM, and then you can select your ROM here. And the only other way to actually get out of the emulator itself, which is for every emulator that exists, 
you have to actually either shut down your device or press the home button on your device to navigate back into the Easy Flash main menu and then boot back into Twilight menu manually. Right now, I know that's kind of a convoluted method, but that's the only way that you can do it. You should just be playing one game at a time or jump through a couple games every once in a while, I think, anyway. So finish your games and then navigate to another game when you're done. So overall, whether it's Nintendo DS that you want to play, if it's Nintendo DS games that you want to play hacked or using cheats or even playing Nintendo DS homebrew, this is the best way I think you should set up your Easy Flash Parallel as of today in 2024, March 31st, because as of right now, there's no other option that is even better than the Easy Flash Parallel, in my opinion. Say goodbye to the R4 card, because the Easy Flash Parallel has a lot going for it, and I think they're going to update something really big really soon. Have a nice day, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment if you want to become part of the DMG clan. If you want to enter for the five Odin 2 giveaways that I'm running right now, go check out the video linked below, as we're almost at 10,000 subscribers for the very first Odin 2 base giveaway. If you don't know what that is, I have multiple videos about that as well. If you want to just subscribe to the channel because you felt this helpful, then do that as well. Share this on Reddit. Share this on any other social media platforms where people have questions about the Easy Flash Parallel. This is the official parallel setup guide to get you going with emulation, to get you going with Nintendo DS gaming. No, this doesn't work for 3DS gaming on any of your DS consoles in 2024. See you next time. Love you all. Bye-bye.